Alright everyone, so today I'm just going to give you a quick conclusion that I have about Mike Mentzer's consolidated routine. Now, what I will say is from every workout, every session, um, yielded an improvement. So for example, if on the dip exercise I got 60 seconds because I was doing time under load instead of counting reps um, with say 10 kilograms attached, then the next session I might have improved that time and got you know, 70 seconds with 10 kilograms attached, okay? So every workout was better than the last, which I'm, you know, really happy about. And that's the one conclusion I can draw from it. The one flaw in the design of this would be the major one, at least, that I see, is that the amount of time I spent in the positive versus the negative portion of the rep, I didn't calculate. There was no set cadence of four seconds up and four seconds down. So I can't draw that. 100% um, accurate from session to session basis, but from the scope of the three months training that I did, um, there was definitely improvement there, and I'm fairly sure improvement did come from workout to workout. So that's what I will say. Now, I'm not saying this is the most effective way to stimulate strength increases. I can't conclude that. I've not had a, enough experience. I've not tracked variables meticulously enough in the past to draw that conclusion. What I will say is the program is adequate for someone of my strength level, at least for my genetics and stuff, putting in the level of effort that I did in them sets, which was pretty much 100% um, to stimulate an increase, to stimulate an adaptation, and to get stronger for the next workout. So that's what I will say. It will get you stronger, whether it's the most effective way to do it or not. I'm not going to talk about because I have no idea, but it will stimulate an increase in strength. That I can say for sure. Okay. Now, that was for all you new viewers who have just looked at the video and wanted to just know if I had anything to say about it. For some of my older subscribers and stuff, I'm going to go into a bit of, a bit of rambling now, tell you about where I'm up to, because it's been a while since I posted a video for anyone who cares when I'm doing my training and things. Uh, yeah, so basically, the last time I posted videos was with the super slow Mike Mensa's high intensity training. And I did that for three months. And then after that, I've switched on to a different program with my friend, um, running that twice a week currently. It's pretty much Martin Burkhan's Lean Gains Protocol Reverse Pyramid Training. If any of you are familiar, if not, I'll just leave a link down below so you can check out the program I'm on about. It's split into a three-day program basically, but I've modified it to be two days a week. And it just has all the big basic exercises. It's very similar in some respects. Okay, I'm not going to speak for him and the design of it, but at least the way I perceive it, it's very similar to Mike Mansell's consolidated routine in terms of the way, especially the way I split it up. It's got pretty much the same exercises that I was running. Um, so it's got my deadlift in there, my squat, my overhead press. Uh, but instead of the dip, I'll switch that out for bench press. It's got seal row in there, which is a new exercise, but it's also got the chin up as well. Um, so, and then it's formed three sets each exercise and each exercise performed about once a week. So that's pretty much what you're looking at, but again, the link will be down below if you want to look at the specifics for it. And I've been making very good progress with that. In fact, I'm pretty much peaking in my all-time strength um, in all my lifts. Uh, so I've got some good footage, which I'm going to share with you guys. Hopefully going to get around to that next week. Um, just been very busy lately, hence the lack of videos and stuff. I wasn't feeling up to it. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm back now, getting on a roll. I'm going to share some good content with you. Uh, so yeah, like I say, this uh, you know slightly higher volume, twice a week program working very well. And uh, not that the consolidated routine wasn't. Now remember, but it's just I can't compare my super slow reps. I have no idea what that means in the context of my history of training because you know I've never done them before. Whereas with this, I'm just using like normal cadence reps. So I'm very good idea of where I'm at. Um, but yeah. Peaking in all time strength, gonna share that with you. I've been running it for about 15 weeks, got it all locked down, so I'll put all that in the video. So, you know, if you want to just pause the video and have a look at some of my spreadsheets just to see, okay, who's making this and this much progress and this much time, and you know, just to set some realistic expectations for others who might be similar to me, you know, natural trainees just uh, with average kind of genetics, uh, kind of progress that you can expect, you know. Um, so, I'm gonna share a lot of that with you because it seems like, correct me if I'm wrong, but from what the conversations I've had in the comments and what people have messaged me as well. Um, it seems that you you like when I, I kind of talk about how such a strength level might link into how how much muscle size you'll get or whatever and shattering some kind of illusions that are out there that, you know, I think, you know, like a 
two plate chin up will give you massive arms or when you can bench press 100 kilos then you'll have a really good chest and stuff um definitely some truth to that but because of all drugs in the mix and the fact that usually on the youtube uh videos and stuff and in the magazines you only see the real cream of the crop the real kind of genetically um but you know i, I like to share my angle for what it's worth and i think it might help out some of you guys um but yeah okay how this links back to the consolidated routine um so i've been running this uh twice a week multiple set program doing well on it making progress you know i never said that you couldn't make progress on that this kind of training definitely can um so that's going really well and then about probably christmas time or something after i've got a good kind of probably going into the new year after i've kind of got some good data got a good like few months of uh you know logs how many reps i'm adding how much weight how much the weight is going up i'm then going to switch every exercise to one set so it look very similar to the consolidation routine but instead of using the super slow reps i'll just use normal cadence reps and i'll see if making that modification either you know just stagnates all my results and i just stick at the same strength level whether it causes a reduction in my strength level or whether it actually accelerates the rate at which I've been gaining strength for multiple sets. It'll be very interesting to know. Um, and I think that's a better way I can do this consolidated routine experiment. Okay, you know, obviously with the super slow thing that I did, uh, I can draw some conclusions from it, but uh, it's going to be a lot better, I think, when I do it this time around. Um, but if any of you are interested in seeing the kind of reverse pyramid training that I've been doing and how it built up into you know, basically the strongest version of myself, I guess you could say, um, then I'm going to be sharing that. I've got some good clips for you guys, and like I said, got it all logged down, so I think that's going to make a fantastic video for you. I'll try and get onto that as soon as possible. Um, now, before I go as well, if anyone's been watching this far and was interested in the kind of high-intensity training stuff that I was doing with the time under load and the super slow, um, a guy from Manchester that I'm you know, I'm based in Manchester, basically, uh, called Alexander Entwistle. Um, he messaged me, and this is a book that he actually did himself, a uh, high-intensity training diary, and it basically just has logs for all you. Um, you can see that in front of the camera. Hopefully you can see that. Um, it's basically just, it's a, all formatted out for you, so you put your exercise, the weight that you use for the exercise, the time to load all the repetitions, whichever you count in. And it's just all laid out for you. There's pages and pages of these logs. Um, so you don't have to just write it into your diary every day. There's uh, like success logs in there. Um, so after a few weeks of training, I think it's like four week blocks, you can see he's got like how he's laid it out there. So, so you can take all your measurements as well, which is really interesting. He's got things for calories and stuff. Um, and there's a bit of text in there at the beginning of the book, which just go through some of the classic high intensity techniques, things like that. Um, and you know, high intensity training guidelines as well, if you're new to that kind of thing. Uh, so again, I don't get any money for this. I'm not sponsored by this guy. He just sent, sent me the book and you know, it's very good. You know, if you want to do the, the time and the load training and kind of stuff that I documented in them um, two uh, consolidated routine videos, then definitely, you know, it uh, could be a good book for you. Uh, but yeah, again, it's not necessary to have that book. I'm not trying to sell it to you. I'll say, oh, you know, training's going to be much better with it. I'm just saying that it could be useful for you. Okay. Um, I think I've covered everything I want to in this video here and we'll leave it there. So until next time, hopefully not too long, uh, I get on to making them reverse pyramid training videos and showing you how I built up to the strongest self. Cool.